Welcome to the lesson on 12.3 geometric series. How do you find the sum of finite geometric series? Let's start by defining what a series is. It is an expression formed by adding the terms of sequence. And the finite geometric series is a sequence that is geometric and has a finite number of terms. So the series is a uh, sum of by adding the terms of the sequence, right? Or sum of the sequence. That sort of begs the question, what is a sequence? Okay, let's sort of review, recap, shall we? So quick recap, sequence is a, a list of numbers, any listing of numbers. Now when we talk about arithmetic sequence, it's a list of numbers, an orderly list of numbers by adding a value. And that value that we add is called common difference, right? which could be either positive or negative, so either go up or down. And geometric sequence is an orderly list of numbers by multiplying a value, and that is called common ratio. So you could either, if it's greater than one, it could go up, if it's between zero and one, it could go down. It could even be negative, so it could alternate between positive and negative value. And series, once again, is a sum of sequence. Okay, now that we square that away, uh, let's get started. So this is a very well-known shape. Uh, in stage one, let's say we're constantly adding half of what's there remaining, right? Stage one, we have half. In stage two, we're going to add half of what's remaining, which is a half of a half. So that gives you half and a quarter, right? In stage three, we got those, and half of the remaining is the eighth. And then if that's eighth, that's eighth. So half of that must be sixteenth. Okay, so if that's the case, uh, in stage one, what is the area of the shaded region? That's half. In second stage, in second stage, we have one half plus a quarter, which is three fourth, and we have third stage, which is just one half plus a quarter plus eighth is 7 eighth. And on the fourth stage, we're adding 1 half, 4th, 8th, plus a 16th, or simply 16th pre uh, plus the previous, which gives you 15 over 16, right? Mm -hmm. Now, we're looking for the difference of 1 in the area of the remaining pieces. So, what we have here is, here, 1 minus the known uh, the laid out, which is half, so which gives you half. So in this stage two, the white part right there, what's remaining is one minus three quarters, which gives you one quarter. So that's like a half of a half, isn't it? In stage three, it's one minus the seven eighth right here, uh, which is one eighth. So that represents one half of a half of a half. And the last one is one half of a half of a half of a half it gives you this piece right there, all right? Or we could simply say one minus the sum, which is 15 over 16. Okay, so we got the basic idea of what a geometric sum is. So let's do a general formula, shall we? So let us say that this particular geometric series is a A plus the second term, which is A times R plus AR squared, plus AR cubed, and so on and so forth. The derivation looks something like this. 2 multiply R to both sides. When you do that, what happens is the second line becomes RS, and R times A becomes AR. The next term, R times AR, becomes AR squared, and so on and so forth. And this A r to the n minus 1 becomes a r to the n. And what you'll notice is that this right here, if I have to subtract these two equations, cancels out. So let's subtract two equations, shall we? On the left-hand side, that's 1s minus rs gives you 1 minus rs. And here is a minus a r to the n. And we factor out the a and divide by 1 minus r. And that's the equation, guys, right? And A represents the first term, R represents the common ratio, and N represents the 
the number of terms that we see over there. Okay, so we're going to be using this formula. So let's write the formula down again on this page. Okay, let's take a look. What is my R? Uh, each time I multiply by 3, so my I know that my R is equal to 3. My first term is 5. And let's count the number of terms, shall we? Got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the adding is equal to 6. So I write all of them down. So a is 5, r is 3, and equal to 6. So I have all the necessary components, a, r, and n. We simply plug into the equation. When you do that, that's, this is what it is. Now we have to simplify. And when you do, it come out, comes out to 1,820. All right, you'll find that in your notes. Uh, there are a couple more questions remaining. That we're going to do in class. And there's one more after this. Have a good night.